Thank you, thank you, good evening. How's everybody? All right, good, 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 good. You know, 20 years is a long time in any place, but in rock and roll, 20 years is an eternity. And it's the... <laughs> it's the distance between the Beatles singing I Wanna Hold Your Hand and Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk. MTV has been at the center of pop music for more than 20 years, and it's just getting going. Under Bill Rohde's leadership around the world, MTV gives a voice to rappers in Russia, punk bands in Japan, and Bollywood stars in India. From working with uh, world leaders like Nelson Mandela and Bill Clinton, to helping with HIV prevention efforts in India or Southern Africa, no task is too small. And this is an enlightened businessman. That I know is true. And it's a guy who lands in a new country just about every week, spends the day taking care of business at the highest level, and then goes down to the club to hear some local music. And this is why I'm here to hand this man an award. This is a real music guy. Bill also goes to the part of town where tourists don't, to visit an AIDS hospice or to talk to AIDS orphans. This is a man whose first question when he walks into some place most often is, uh, how can MTV help? And Bill Rohde doesn't distinguish between the famous and forgotten. That's why we honor him. There is no doubt MTV exists. Yet this knowledge alone does not satiate mankind's quest for further understanding. Many are curious about the creation of what is known as music television. Tonight, we will take you on a journey that uncovers the mystery of MTV. Let's start at the beginning. I want my MTV! Researchers and scientists agree that the finite date of August 1st, 1981 is the moment the world first experienced MTV. Too much is never enough. From nothing, there was something. A very loud and visually stimulating something. After its initial appearance, there was a gestation period of six years, or about 788,400 music videos. Then all of the music, matter, and energy that was thought to be contained in the United States jumped the pond. I think it's about time that MTV and rock and roll is taken all over Europe. August 1st, 1987. Sir Elton John traveled to Amsterdam to unleash MTV Europe. <laughs> the world was changed forever. Brazil was hit next. Then the heat struck Latin America. <laughs> The cheers that accompanied the fall of the Berlin Wall were echoed when the first MTV Europe Music Awards were held in 1994 with George Michael singing Freedom in front of Brandenburg Gate. Every year, seemingly random parts of the world felt the presence and experienced the power of MTV, with each new country empowered to interpret the brand in its own special way. 1995, MTV Mandarin launched, as well as MTV Southeast Asia, followed by MTV India in 96. MTV made in India? Huh? Made in India? This is not made in India. M A D made in India. Australia the following year, and MTV Russia in 1998. MTV Russia. And one year later, the temperature in Red Square skyrocketed when the infectious sounds of the Red Hot Chili Peppers were let loose to celebrate the MTV Russia's first birthday. As MTV grew in scope, it was able to target specific countries for a more focused and localized approach with MTV Germany, UK and Ireland, Japan, Italy, France, Poland, Spain, and the Netherlands. In 2003, MTV Guangdong in China was launched, making MTV the first global brand to have a 24-hour channel in China. This brought the verified number of MTV channels worldwide to 41. <laughs> and
And next year, we'll see MTV reach the final frontier with a dedicated channel broadcasting throughout sub-Saharan Africa. From the beginning of time, at MTV, young people have been given a platform to express themselves on important social issues of the day. But I disagree with the practical argument. From the environment to political awareness, unless they get Iraqi to unemployment and homelessness, to HIV and AIDS. Now, we are all here for the same reason, to inaugurate the Save the Humans campaign. AIDS is leading the human population towards self-extinction. It's not just about survival of the fittest anymore, because even the fittest and the strongest among them are falling victim to this disease. And just look at where it's affected. It's everywhere. I've heard more than 6,000 youngsters are infected every day. Every day. The Staying Alive HIV AIDS Prevention and Awareness Campaign was created by MTV International to use its far-reaching voice to address the global AIDS pandemic. It's about people, real people, and in this program, we're going to meet some of them. This extends HIV AIDS prevention messages to the widest audience possible. No longer is AIDS just a disease. It is a human rights issue. And while mankind continues to search for the answers to life's complexities, MTV will be here to offer hope, inspiration, and a little bit of rock and roll. So we got it is a great honor for me to give the International Emmy Founders Award for 2004 to Bill Rohde and MTV Networks International. Yeah.